Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. I'm going to try something that's very, very difficult. And if you'll watch closely, I'm going to try to pick up these two coins with just one hand and balance them between the two fingers. Very difficult thing to do. But, surprisingly enough, you can do it. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Once again, it's time for a few minutes with me, G.I. Joe. Okay, we're going to look at an evidence-based review of some clinical studies concerning pharmacology. Just received the uh, August version of the Journal of Endodontics, which is a little disturbing because it's now September. But we had that same problem last month. This is evidence-based dentistry, and there are a lot of good articles in here. Uh, one of them is on clinical pharmacology, and I want to talk to you a little bit about using a combination of acetaminophen and ibuprofen together. And I know you've probably heard about this in the past, but we're going to talk about how uh, putting the two together is better than using either one by itself. And if we read this uh, article, uh, each patient received a single dose of 600 milligrams of ibuprofen or 600 milligrams of ibuprofen plus 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen or a lactose placebo. All the medications were done double blind and what we found was, or what they found, I didn't find anything, that um, it was much more effective the combination of ibuprofen plus 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen. More effective than ibuprofen alone for the management of post-operative pain and non-surgical endodontic treatment. And the question, question frequently comes up, of if you're going to use a combination of the two, which one do you use first and how often do you use them? The recommended dosage for acetaminophen, and I'm just going to use the word Tylenol, uh, is every four hours 1,000 milligrams, whereas with ibuprofen, uh, and again I'm just going to say Motrin from now on, is every six hours. So if you wanted to alternate the two drugs, you could give Tylenol at 12 noon, and you could give it again at 4, again at 8, and again at midnight, so every four hours. Whereas with Motrin, you would want to do it every six hours, so you would give Motrin at noon, 6 p.m., and midnight. And that's a good alternation of the two. And the uh, military has reported a uh, very high success rate giving this together in that particular dosage. One more thing to keep in mind is that the manufacturers of Tylenol specifically do not recommend that patients mix these drugs without medical supervision. And the reason is that drugs by themselves can be safely used, either one of them, but if you mix them together and you're not careful about the particular dosage and you give Tylenol and acetaminophen every four hours, what's going to happen is you're going to overdose on the Motrin if you're not very careful about this. So that's why that alternation that I showed you a minute ago might be useful. But again, check with your physician. Make sure that uh, you don't have any contraindications. If you're taking other medication, be sure the other medication does not contain uh, similar products. You don't want any cross-reference to these particular materials. Now I know a lot of mothers have been concerned about fever with their children, uh, almost a fever phobia, but I would not recommend using this cocktail for children. Uh, there have been some reported cases of kidney failures and some problems by mixing those together. And really, most people forget about the fact that fever is actually a normal uh, reaction to an infection and a little bit of fever is actually a good thing and I'm not sure that interfering it and just trying to give this combination to reduce fever is a good idea. Another thing to keep in mind is to give plenty of liquids with either Motrin or Tylenol and if you're going to use the combination make sure that you give plenty of fluids. Actually giving fluids alone will lower the temperature one or two degrees in many cases. So is this a scientifically based study? It's an evidence-based study, and there are a number of people in the article that talk about different aspects of the pharmacology in here, and I would recommend that you get a copy of this and read it for yourself, but there have been enough reports 
not only from the military but in the private sector as well, that this combination of Motrin and Tylenol given together or alternating, as we talked about a few minutes ago, uh, is very effective and better than either one by itself. So I recommend it. Nice cocktail, Tylenol and Motrin in combination. One more thing. Keep in mind that my name is G.I. Joe. I'm not a doctor. I'm a soldier. So check with your personal physician to be sure that what I've told you is okay. Well, that's it for another Root Tip of the Week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to join me at our very next Root Camp. So long for now.